Yes, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on what time you are tuned in. Now, karibu sana kwa Morori TV, and if it's the first time, make sure that you've subscribed to this channel. Now, story ya leo, ni story ambayo imejaa huzuni sana, na ni story ambayo maybe itakuwa na machozi. Kwa sababu ni story ya the gentleman seated next to me. He is a single father raising a child. Ananiambia ever since alipata mpenzi na wakapendana then uh, ikafikia time ya delivery na wakaenda hospitali but a lot happened but bahati baya the wife didn't make it it's a long story uh, whether it's either by negligence or whatever Brian is here to tell us the story Brian is here raising a child mtoto wake mdogo ambaye yako 3 month old. We want to hear the experience to see story yake kwa gani. So I request you to take your time. Don't change the dial. Tukae chini tusikie story. Ambao ni story ya huzuni na ni story ya machozi. Also, ningetaka kusema hii story ni msimamo wa Mururi TV. Ni msimamo wa Brian ambaye angetaka kuhadithia story yake atuambie the experience yenye alipata na whatever happened up to date na goda tusaidia pia tuweze ku support Brian for the sake of the child so karibuni sana kwa Mori TV if you're there you have a story you'd want to share my number will be running all through the screen so that you can call and reach out to me and goda to bless too sana so kindly let's listen to Brian karibuni sana habari yako nzuri sana Aha, yeah. karibu sana kwa Mururi TV asante uh, na sijui tukwambie congratulations <laughs> na mrembo hapa uh-huh. yes before tuendelee sana yes. mimi ningekuomba bibi uweze kuangalia kamera pale okay usalimie watazamaji wa Mururi TV right. wafahamishwe ona jukikana kama nani uh-huh. then tuendelee tusikie story yako asante mm-hmm. okay kwa watazamaji mimi na ito... <laughs> naitwa Brian Odiambo. Mhm. Uh, nilizaliwa game. Uh-huh. Uh, that, uh, most of my life nime, uh, nimeishi Kisumu. Uh-huh. Sasa nimesoma nimesoma Kisumu boys. Uh-huh. Tukiishi uh, na Made. Uh-huh. Uh, apparently niko tu peke yangu sina sister sina bro. Haya, yeah. uh, father pia aliaga kitambo Pole. when I was 9 years. Uh-huh. So Made ndiye ame struggle na mimi because uh-huh. in between pia after kifo ya Fadhe uh-huh. Made alifukuzwa kwetu oh, yeah. Shago oh, Ajua, alifukuzwa na maankozo wangu wakachukua uh-huh. wakamnyanganya kila kitu uh-huh. babangu alikuwa polisi uh-huh. so alikufa kama bado i think bado alikuwa constable because uh-huh. i was nine years siwezi kumbuka vizuri okay. but alikufa kama alikuwa kwa stage ya constable uh-huh. so after kifo yake uh, alikufa 1999 uh-huh actually november pia mm. so venye alikufa after burial mm-hmm. madhe akafukuzwa na mimi mm-hmm. na kila kitu maankozo wangu walichukua the pensions of father kuna venye walienda wakamanipulate vitu wakamnyanganya kila kitu mm-hmm. so mama to start a from scratch mm-hmm. akakuja kisumu akarentisha nyumba ya 400 unakani imagine nyumba ya 400 vina ka mm-hmm. so what madhe used to do alikuwa anapika ngachapo kwa hao mm-hmm. na anachemsha chai because mm-hmm. hii sasa nilikuwa naona mm-hmm anaika kwa kibu ya 10 liters mm-hmm. cha hapo anafunganisha anaenda kuuzea wase wa boda hapo Kisumu stage mm-hmm. so that is how ali tuli survive nae mm-hmm. nikafanya my first class eight mm-hmm. that was in two five first class eight nimefanya 2 or 3 ndere mix primary school nikisha na shosho wangu mm-hmm. wewe ni the mother of my mom mm-hmm. so i nilipata anga 3 or 3 marks my first attempt mm-hmm. But sikuenda high school cause nilipata calling letter ya Sawagongo nikapata ya Mbira boys mm-hmm. nikapata zingine na tuko na do mm-hmm. so time sasa after kumaliza class 8 nikakuja kuishi na madhesa za Kisumu mm-hmm. so mjo wase washaenda washa report shule we bado uko mtaa mm-hmm. so mother kaniambia eh hey, my son hii age yako cuz i was 13 mm-hmm. my first attempt of class 8 i was 13 years mm-hmm. akaniambia age yako mm-hmm. ukikaa kwa mlango na hapa Kisumu na tunaishi slums mm-hmm. It's either taingia kwa drugs mm. ama utakuwa kuja kwa bad, bad boy. So mimi na ku request hivi because mimi bado sina do. Mm. 
Naweza organize when do ishi na antioko fulani mm -hmm. uko rangala sasa. Okay. For those who know rangala. Mm -hmm. At least u rewind. Mm -hmm. Na sasa tuna rewind juli fail. Mm -hmm. Una rewind tu ni jipange. Au unajua kuna pesa. Hakuna do, na kuna okay. do ya kuingia high school. Okay. So mimi pia nikasikiza madhe when I was young, I was mm -hmm. 13, nikasema sawa, it was mm -hmm. painful but mm -hmm. unaona uko na calling letter lakini unaenda ku rewind mm -hmm. na uko na calling letter ya shule poa. For those who know Sawagongo uh, boys, it's a good school. Mm -hmm. So ikabidi nimeenda ku rewind huko Rangala boys primary. Mm -hmm. Nikiishi na aunt of mine yeye ni cheza bazaar Rangala girls high school. Mm -hmm. So nilikuwa naishi kwake nikienda mm -hmm. Rangala uh, boys primary school. Mm -hmm. So when you are papers zangu za previous class 8 uyo hey teacher le nchukonga in fact ni lingia kwa class mm. na civilian because mm. tulienda tu kutafuta chance na madhe mm. kasema hiyo boys alipita where we muingize kwa class hizi endo mnunulie vitabu na uniform mletea chenjia hapa and that is how i got to rangala boys primary ku rewind tena so hapo pia life ikuwa rahisi nikiishi na huyo aunty wangu there are a lot of ups and downs mm. which i don't want to go into more details mm -hmm nikafanya class 8 mm -hmm. sasa kama siishi na echo at some point alinifukuza kwake okay yeah so nika nikachukuliwa anga pia na mwalimu wangu wa maths mrs saura mm -hmm. back then mm -hmm. was i was good in maths and sciences mm -hmm. so kunichukua nikaishi and this now was a total stranger not even a, fam, a relative huyo mm -hmm. mwalimu wangu wa maths alinichukua tu because of the love she had for me mm -hmm. Nikafanya sasa the second class eight kama naishi kwake. Mm -hmm. Na nika attain uh, it was 375 mm -hmm. at that time. 375 marks. Mm -hmm. So hapa pia na calling letters zimekuja kibao. Mm -hmm. Kisui nini St. Mary's nikapata tena sawa gongo nini. Mm -hmm. So mother nikamwambia nika sasa ndio nimemaliza tena the second round. Mm -hmm. Ndio hizi calling letters mm -hmm. tutafanya aje. Baada ya kuna ini mm -hmm. mbele wala nyuma. So mzee wa sewa report shule nini? Mi bado niko tu mtaa sana jiuliza sasa siwezi rudia tena mara tatu. What, what do I do? So kuna siku Kuna siku kwa zungu mina walikuwa napita mm. Wapo tuko slums Waka mm. nipata nimeka chini kwa blango mm -hmm. waka, nza, waka, kuja, waka kwa interested Waka kuja kuna mbona siindi si shule nini So me I just opened my heart mm. Nika waleza story ote Na that's how wa zungu wali kuja Waka kuna madhe jioni mm. Waka patia madhe check ya Waka, waka mbia madhe kwanza atafute shule cheap mm -hmm. uh, Unlike these are calling letters nilipata mm -hmm. So the only option was to go for a day school within Kizu, Kisumu town mm -hmm. So madhe the next morning haka enda Kisumu boys mm -hmm. Na hizo calling letters zangu zote na whatever I got in primary mm -hmm. Haka pata chance Kisumu boys mm -hmm. So kupata chance haka pezo mafi structure and the requirements Haka kuja wale wazunyo haka kuja jioni Madhe haka wapatizo vitu Hapo njio hawa zungu wali ya school fees ya the whole year wali andikanga madhe check the whole year na wakampatia do kiasi ya kunuwa hizo vitabu nini uniform and that is how I was admitted at Kisumu Boys High School that was in 205 okay. so kuingia Kisumu Boys 205 mm -hmm. kusoma pia ni struggle kuzi madhe pia uka nasumbuliwa na mawankonzo wangu wame mnyanganya vitu she's mm -hmm. trying to battle on mm -hmm. vya naiza pata yu ata, ata pension za fave nini mm -hmm. life was horrible to a point nilikuanga na vaviatu na wana juu nime vaviatu lakini chini ni meka boxes kuzi haina soul mm -hmm. anaenda shule Mm. So nikasoma hivyo struggling unaishi na urela na kusumbua nini so I was moving from relative to relative just to kusoma So nimesoma na mashida mm -hmm. long story short mm. nika pata C minus mm. kwa hizo ma struggle zote Because I remember when I was sitting my KCAC mm. mindu rutu kufanya exams the whole year sikuwa shule juwa school fees mm. Na nilikuja tu kumba nilikuja ngatu nika ongea na deputy nika mbembeleza it is so pointless ni mwesto ondo four years mm then mnataka kuniambia sifanye exams hata kama ni do mm. acha tu nifanye mm. nijuange tu nilipata hivyo hata kama nitafanya hiyo certificate zangu mm. so i lim touch the entire story nilimpatia na plus the class teacher back then mm. wakakubali nikafanya exams hivyo tu mm -hmm. then i got a c minus for, uh, despite all those struggles mm. ikakuwa ni hivyo ako, ako comfortable vinyume mshika ana ana ukiona hivi ni usingizi na msumbua unamfanya ngaje ndo alale we are work shop we are shiba ni ama mu dance na yeye sana sana eh mu dance na yeye then you can be unaweza kukicheza tu na yeye as in tunaendelea feel comfortable as in it's not too much of issue jibambe tu na yeye wacha pia ache ku feel maybe yuko I love umejua aonangi watu sasa kiona wase wengi anasika tension pia sorry mama so uh, that is how I did my phone call. Mm -hmm. After after hapo pia life still didn't give up on us. Mm -hmm. As in, in to the positive side. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ama naeza mshika? Yeah, naeza mshika. Uh, bas. Mm -hmm. Bas. Yo ni usingizi. Ni usingizi.
Mm-hmm. So life body litupeleka mbio. Mhm. Mabe bado alikuwa anaendelea na biashara yake. Mm-hmm. So in between before ni kuje Nairobi. Mhm. Mother ali ile biashara yake ilianza ku grow akafungua mm-hmm. kakibanda mm-hmm. which was progress. Mm-hmm. Sasa kwa napika kwa hao. Sasa alikuwa mm-hmm. anaenda kwa hiyo kibanda yake hadi alikuwa ameemploy wase wawili watatu. Mm-hmm. So hiyo ni around uh, 209 sasa. I remember 209. Mhm. 209 mother kachomeka ngamguu alikuwa anachemsha sasa alikuwa alikuwa sasa anapika ugali nini just uh, you know hizi mabibandas hivi ni uzuzu kwa mm. so alikuwa anapika na kuni na anachemsha maji ugali mm-hmm. so by mistake akanyaga kuni moja kachapa sufuria kamwakikia kwa mguu mm. so kuchomeko umejua sasa akakuwa ako grounded na hiyo ndio breadwinner mm-hmm. so ikabidi at that stage or rather that age had to come up like a man sasa cuz mother sasa ko down haizi fanya anything ikabidi nianze ku hustle hapo ndio nilingia line ya ku hustle nilikuwa naenda mjengo nimefanya mjengo hii domestic wiring ile land kwa through kutumwa nipatie spara nifanyie nini nikala domestic wiring hii stamping ya mjengo nimefanya tumehamisha watu na mkokoteni ndio at least nikipatata kama ni so mbili na nunua food napeleka na pika tunakula na madhe cuz pia mguu wake pia ilikuwa nataka dressing na tafuta dawa nini mm. nyumba alikuwa naisha sasa mimi ndio nilikuwa nalipa hiyo time Naenda na hustle nini pesa nimechanga the whole month na sigawa kidogo tunalipa rent. So siku moja nikitembea tu mtaani tu na ha go to Nairobi. Mm-hmm. Na yakutana na a classmate of mine umejua vitu kishamaliza shule people disperse. Mm-hmm. So kutana naye nikakuwa tu interested nikamwengea nikamwambia eh hey, weekly mambo umepotea wapi akaniambia amekuwa Nairobi nini poa huko si uni connect ile tu kutaka tu connection. So ndio akaniambia ah kuna job alikuwa anafanya mm-hmm. but ameacha kuzia ashaitwa Kole. Mm-hmm anaenda kole mm-hmm. saa ameacha na job ya job ya merchandising mm-hmm. kutembea na goods na get so nikamwambia mazi mimi kani job mimi ni job when ni refer tu kama kama naweza pata space akasema sawa mimi naweza kupatia slot yangu naweza ambia ni huyu mduzi akuchukue sasa kaenda kaniandika referral letter hivi nikaletia mam nikamwambia mam i was so happy nikamwambia nimepata job Nairobi lakini sasa sijui vile nafika hiyo Nairobi na sijui naenda kuingia kwa nani na sijui naenda kuishi wapi na sijui naenda kuishi wapi So cuz the last time nilikuwa Nairobi nilikuwa tukija na father that was in 1998. Sasa Nairobi na Nairobi, Nairobi 20, uh, 2010 sasa mm. cuz it was uh, December 2009 tukutana naye. Mm-hmm. So ilifanya kuje 2010 January. Mm. Sijui anywhere. Mm. So nikamwambia madhe madhe mimi sijui nitafanyaje but staki chance nipite. So madha kajaribu kajaribu kaongea na mabishi wake fulani nini nini wakampatia ngapao hii tao tukaenda mimi na bestangu mimi anaitwa Victor huko Kisumu he's been a very long term friend of mine so tukaenda kutafuta gari zina charge how much umejua hiyo time bado ni peak tukapata Eldoret Express hiyo time ilikuwa na charge 1000 mm. na hii tao ndio madame pa amepata so hii tao kisha ilipa hivyo umebaki hivyo hauna hata kitu kule hata mandizi kwa gari i remember gari hiyo time si kujua ni nakuru mm. but siku hizi najua ni nakuru i remember gari lisimama hapo nakuru mm. watu wanashuka wananunua mandizi yogurt nini wanakula mm. Mimi nilibaki na four bob nilibaki tropical. That is what nilikula hadi Nairobi tropical sweets. Zine. At time hiyo time zikuwa na bob bob. I remember clearly. So tukaamua na huyo bishta akanipatia psych, akani encourage, akasema mzee I'm going to try. I'm going to a land that I've not been to. Mm-hmm. I don't know pay naenda kuingia cuz my, my, my relatives here at that time they tend to ditch you a lot. Unapigia umsea oh nimepata job Nairobi I want to come over wana ku slide. Oh, place yangu hakuna place meza lala. So I struggled. So tukafunga tukafunga safari yule best yangu alikuwa ananaishanga boda. Morning 5 akakuja kunichukua home akanitropisha stage. He was a very good friend. In fact, ndiye alipatia ngezo for Bob akaniambia bro, mimi pesa naweza kuongezea. Ni hizi for Bob ndio nimebaki nazo. Ni hizi. So tukaingia na hapo Eldoret Express tulipata mm-hmm. kit moja inibaki nilikuwa ya nyuma ya katikati uh-huh. so that was the only seat available uh-huh. mimi nikaingia nayo mm-hmm. na nilikuwa na hizi bags mbili uh-huh. tu ndogo tu imebaki imebeba nguo tu zile zetu za chwara chwara tu uh-huh. so kuingia safari ndio hiyo it was a lengthy one uh-huh. so kufika Nairobi at that time mimi siku hiyo tatumeingia Nairobi but siku hizi najua anga tuliingia West Indies because naona West East siku hizi uh-huh. kuingia West tukaingia bus station so there's an uncle of mine anaishika Wangware yeye ndiye alinipatia anga hope kaniambia ah unaweza kuja kwangu. So kufika country bus kitu 5 jioni yeah. kumpigia cuz nilikuwa na kabambe. Kumpigia. Eh yeah. hey, mzee, namba ona ya kwanza kuchukua. Ya pili akachukua kaniambia, "Eh, hey, pole bro, mimi nimetumwa job mbali sijui nitakusaidiaje. Siko hata Nairobi. Bro niliisha." Sasa yuko country bus. Ujui huku ni left right, ujui uko wapi? Una do. Uko hapo <laughs> umekaa. 
na ndio mimi usema god works in mysterious ways cause at that time ningekuwa na pesa <coughs> ningepanda gari next Bele. nirudi Kisumu mm-hmm. actually that was my only option nipande gari next nirudi Kisumu but sikuwa na anything so nikaomba tu Mungu asema Mungu sasa hizi ni gani kupigia madhe madha kaanza tu kulea eh alianza ngatu kulea kwa sasa juu mimi nitaingia wapi na nitarudi aje Kisumu mm. if at all I have to go back mm. eh kidogo kidogo simikalia nikaona ni wangu wangu akaniambia eh pole nime feel vibaya nilikuwa nimekudanganya mi niko job lakini niko industrial area mm. but sijui vile nitakudirect hadi kwa nyumba nikamuuliza na ishi wapi ati naishi Kawangware hiyo time mimi hata siyo Kawangware kwa side gani akaniambia but when when jamam mshap naweza kudirect kwa kwa simu ufike nikasema mm. I'll try but akaniambia wewe tafuta sasa credit mimi nitafute credit niko anga nikimpigia every point nimefika kabidi nipige nimepiga ule best yangu Victor mm. kaambia eh hey, bro mimi nimefika lakini kuna ka kitu kuna huyu jamaa anaenda kwake anataka mm niweke credit nimpigia ni direct mm. tafadhali nitumie tu so oh boy can tumia ngaso ni kabai credit so anko nkumpigia kanambia unaona pale railways mm. mimi atazii railways ni wapi anani point ya anani ananiambia angalia i left nini nuta una placement kwa railways hivyo 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 sami <laughs> kuna kale ka notion na tukifika Nairobi utapotezwa ni mm. nikatafutanga kimama mzee alikuwa na uzawaru i remember mm. nikaenda nikakaa kando yake nikamwambia tu story yangu briefly mm nikamwambia madhe na ankongo ananipatia directions mm. na sijui ata railways ni wapi so nisaidie kaniambia pota tu hivi juu utaona sijui ina, ina kuanga chachia chachia magret tu magret tu eh utaona kanisa nyingine hapo kubwa then hapo mbele utaona hizi coach hapo mbele tu ndio railways so mimi nikafuata ga tu hivi nilikuwa naenda na confidence utadhani najua railways mm-hmm. so mimi nikaenda nika, nikaona yeye hizi coach nikapita mbele kidogo vile alieleza nikaona hizo magari mob vile alikuwa amesema mm. so shida sijui ni gari gani ya kwenda kaongo alikuwa mm-hmm. naona kupigia ngongo kaniambia ni namba 56 mm-hmm. naona 56 mingi nikamuuliza ni namba 56 gani so nikatumia kili nikaona acha ni hakuna jani msumbue acha niulize tu hapo makanga 56 ya kaongoare mm. si nikaambiwa ni gani mm-hmm. so yenye nilikuwa napanga that time ilikuwa imeshaja mm. kiti imebaki ni nyuma na stack kwa nyuma mm. kwa nataka nikae karibu na dere nikaongoja gari next nikakaa mbele mm-hmm. so kambale nikaambia ngongo nishapanda gari niko mbele akaniambia sawa enda hadi place inaitwa Kongo kaongoare Kongo shuka Kongo ukishashuka Kongo tembea chini hadi place inaitwa si Kalunganga kanunganga kanunganga yuko yes. chini yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so and so amoja ameni aliniambia hivyo na one off mm-hmm. ukifika hapo kanunganga teremka chini utaona shule inaitwa Gatina inaitwa Gatina mm. pita yuko Gatina school teremka chini utaona nyumba nyingine imepintwa hiyo hiyo time ilikuwa imepintwa yellow na iko na baa nyingine hapo ndogo mm-hmm. opposite utaona nyumba za mabati mingi ingia hapo mm-hmm. so mimi nikashika gatu venye ameniambia mm-hmm. so kila place tukipita mm-hmm. najipatia time na account kama 10 minutes na uliza dere dere hapa tumefika wapi ananiambia Adam Sake hivyo 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 tukapita uh, ni ni Braiban Braiban mm-hmm. school akaniambia sasa pale ndio Kongo pale Kongo eh kufika Kongo nikashuka nikaanza kutembea kutembea nikatembea tu barabara lami hadi mwisho nikaona sasa hiyo lami imeisha nikajiambia kwa akili hapa ndio kaluga kwa sasa sasa hakuna mm-hmm. lami nyingine mm-hmm. nikauliza jamaa mwingine alikuwa anachopa anachoma mahindi hapa ndio kaluga akaniambia eh mm-hmm. sasa nikanyorosha vile alikuwa ameniambia take the right hiyo barabara ya right ya kuteremka mm-hmm. Hivyo hivyo nikaona hiyo building ya yellow nikaingia kwa hiyo plot. Umejua unaingia kwa plot na unajua nyumba ni gani? Mm. So after kuingia kwa hiyo gate ya plot cause ni nyuma house za mabati. Mm. Nikampigia nikamwambia niko kwa hiyo plot ilikuwa ameniambia. Kaniambia don number sijui ilikuwa na don na number what? I can't recall. So nikaanza ku venye unaweza panda sasa hizi stairs ukiangalia don numbers hivyo tu. Nikaona hiyo number niambia nikaenda kubisha. Uh-huh. Hivyo. So, so nika, nikapata wife wake. Wife wake kanipigia. Mm. Ni kama akwa ameambia wife. Mm. Ati kuna mgeni akapoa ah tunaongo utaka Oscar na mimi ni nani so umejua tujuani mm. so bwanake ni kama akamu explain akasema oh karibu 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 so mimi nikatulia tu mm-hmm. akatoka job jona akoja akanipata kwa hao mm. so the next day umejua niko na interview kwa ile job nilikuwa nimerifaiwa na mm. best yangu so kuenda manze interview mimi sina hata official clothes nimeva long official jeans <laughs> official shirt na tie sasa <laughs> tatakuwa na cartoon so kuenda watu wamekamu wengi mimi nikauliza documents nikapea na ID. Kwa hata certificates zilikuwa zimeshikwa shule juu ya fee. Nikapea na ID. Pia na ID na nile barua referral bila bishi changu aliniandikia. Sasa akasema wao wende umetumwa na wiki eh mm. hakuja. Tukaongea na mdozi ilikuwa kuuza some banners, double banners na single banners zilikuwa natumia mafuta mengine it's you buy oil. Nini oil nyingine ina ka green shivi. Mhm. Hiyo time sunflower something. Kitu kama hiyo. Yeah. So najua mzee nikachukuliwa then 
kuchukua mimi nikafurahi umejiona na ile furaha umepata job mm-hmm. but ujui the intensity of that work or rather the, the challenges za hizo job mm-hmm. so unajua for the first three days mm-hmm. una trainiwa mm-hmm. na hii training unaatachiwa na mtu mwenye already asha guru asha jua asha jua eh. so unaenda nayo unasimama kando yake akiongea na client unasikia vya na introduce venye anafanya venye ana anauza anauza ana nini kuna hii product eh, eh, venye anafanya hizo demonstrations nini so nikaenda nga 3 days na hii ni product yenye uweze target now at mtu ajio kali mm. ni office product cause unataka office nataka 25 mm-hmm. for the single banner mm-hmm. na we mwenyewe unajilipa from this sale that you are making so lazima we, we, we inflate lazima uze kitu kama 3k ndio baki na punch ama maybe 28 ndio baki na so tatu mm-hmm. get so hiyo sio kitu mwakoendea mtu ab kibanda tabidi umetafuta mo offices sijui office yote tao so 3 days tukafanya training the third day nikaachwa peke yangu nika wakachukua id yangu wakanipatia mm-hmm. double bana na mm-hmm. single bana moja na hizo ma fuel hizo ma whatever fuel it was using mm-hmm. so nikaanza kutembea kutembea nikangangana nikangangana na hivyo ndio life ika grow ikaanza ku grow pole pole kuna day nikifanya mada mingine presentation mm-hmm. akani refer somewhere akaniambia hey, Brian you are too good for this job i want to refer you somewhere maybe naona mtoto wa shalala uh, kama maybe umesaidiwa sasa anaweza maybe kumzika uh, unaweza enda maybe umlalishe mm. then kuja tuendelee na story ni sawa sawa uh, uh, so so hivyo ndio venye life yangu ya kuhasul ilianza Nairobi mhm nika hasul hivyo hivyo until sasa tumekutana leo sasa life umehasul then biashara ilikuja ikakuzidi ikakuwa sawa hiyo uh, hiyo biashara hiyo job ilikuwa ngumu but uh, nilikuwa referred somewhere nikapata sasa unemployment mm-hmm. in a company mm-hmm. that ili na deal na timeshare mm-hmm. wenye wanajua timeshare kuza holiday homes mm-hmm. kuna concept inaitwa fractional ownership mm-hmm. so nilikuwa employed as a telesales person oh, okay. uh, in the telemarketing department okay yes so that's what you've been working then uh, let me ask yeah. at what point did you figure then uh, you started dating mm-hmm. ndio tuweze kuingia kwa story yenye imefanya kujelewa <laughs> Dating ilianza kitambo but umejua wanasema you kiss many frogs that is according to <laughs> So uh, okay yes being okay being uh, being the only one mm-hmm. miss na bro ama sister ven kwa nimesema hapo awali mm-hmm. unapata saka unaishi cause nilikuwa nishapata kwangu nini mm-hmm. kuna kale ka loneliness life mm-hmm. so una feel uh, unataka somebody in your life mm-hmm. So I always prayed mm-hmm. that nipate dema tani accept venye niko mm-hmm. with the kind of job I do cuz kazi yangu ni a commission mm-hmm. if I don't work there's nothing until mm-hmm. to date mm-hmm. So I wanted that woman that would understand me mm-hmm. with the hurdles that nimekuwa nazo kwa life yangu mm-hmm. So yes dating imekuwa up until when I now met my late mm-hmm. wife mm-hmm. that the reason why we are here today mm-hmm. So nilikuja there's a lady that uh, the lady that I finally married mm-hmm na mwenye tumezana nayo mtu yeye mwenye nimekuwa naye mlikutanaje mm, uh, tulikutana 20 towards end of 2021 natuja mm-hmm. kasa sana okay. end of 2021 mm-hmm. and how it happened mm-hmm. uh, a friend of mine colleague hiyo mm-hmm. siku i remember it was uh, december mm-hmm. early december kati tujafunga job mm-hmm. so tuko job office tu sasa hizi ko west hapo mm-hmm. west end towers mm-hmm. first floor mm-hmm. so akaniambia ai brayo Situende tao tu tukamate moja mbili mm. I, I take taska. Mm. So nikamwambia usiku manzee mimi na uniko chini sina do. Mm. Kanaambia kuna shida nitakubaya moja. I think that's the guy who made me meet my wife. Mm. So kuenda tukaingia hii club iko tai inaitwa Sijuni 64 inajitanda mm. 64 something. It was on a Thursday 64 64 pale behind the Hilton uh, up. Yes yes. Okay. So kuenda we didn't know there was an event mm. of Miss Kavi hiyo mm. day kwa hiyo club. Mm. Si tulienda tu. Mm. So time tumekaa na bish yangu mm. tume amenua na kunywa white cup anaitwa Nation Nandwa. Mm. It's a very old friend mine. Mm. Friend of mine. Mm. So kanwa white cup yake na kanibai ya task moja. So mm. tunapiga two story time ikisonga. Kafika saa tatu tukasikia DJ ama announce Now ya tunajitayesha kuingia to our next uh, event mm. leo tuko na Miss Kavi show mm-hmm. uh, and you guys will, you will be the judges of mm-hmm. who wins Miss Kavi. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nikaambia obesh tangu kwani kuna event huko na tujui. Hebu <laughs> tukae kidogo. So mimi nikamwambia nika tutakaje mazina chupa moja moja. Mm. Kaniambia acha nifulize. Kafuliza kabai tena moja moja. Kupush time to know what's going to happen. Uh-huh. So madam my late wife mm. ni a walk a runway model. Mm-hmm. 
and she's a fashionista kwa zata amedesign amedesign ama celebrity wengi sana mangu mm -hmm. kama yeye ni Aladdin kwa nakwambia hiyo mm -hmm. nguo na advertise nao big hiyo mm -hmm. short ya blue na iko na flap hivi hiyo mm -hmm. ni madam ali design na mkono wake mm -hmm. she was the first hata uh, India alifitwa kwanza before hata yeye ni Aladdin okay yeah so na ni miskavi so kumbe pia alikuwa kwa hiyo competition mm -hmm. na sijui mm -hmm. so naona ile event naanza mm -hmm. demo kwanza na pita na show vitu na na, na, na model na catwalk mm -hmm kuna kitu ni move mm. lakini so the next lady was madam mm. and that time ako madam so mm. when alipanda hiyo stage manze kutembea mm. nilisikia zangu zimeshuka oh yes now the spirit of tasca <laughs> is about to speak <laughs> nilisikia nilisikia zangu zimeshuka nikaambia anga bestango ti guy umono de mamepita uh -huh. eh akapi usimejua nakuja uh -huh. then apparently tulikuwa tumekari karibu na hiyo walkway uh -huh. so we could see clearly venye anakuja na venye anaenda uh -huh. eh nikasema labda ni kulewa uh -huh. acha tupatie time because umejua the model with different attires uh -huh. kuna za beach kuna za nini uh -huh. kuna maza dinner dresses uh -huh. and all that so they kept on changing na every time alikuwa anakuja na hata nilikuwa nasikia tu mzee oh, hallelujah <laughs> so ikafika point umejua uh -huh. there's a room wametengenezewa ya kuchange uh -huh. So before event ishe mm. mazee mimi nika gather kare nikaenda kwa hiyo room nikapata imelindwa na bouncer fulani mm. na nikamwambia ngatu bro mimi kuna dem nimeona hapo ndani nataka tukubonga na yeye mm. please do akaniambia hapana hapa turuhisi kuingia nikamwambia bro na diona nataka tu kijinis mm. i just guessed akasema <laughs> <laughs> akaniambia eh hey, utatoa ginis gapi nikamwambia bro mimi naweza kupata tu moja mm. sina kitu mm. Na hii moja hata mimi sinunui na ndio bado kubonga na best time. So nikaambia best time mzee nataka kuongea na yule dem na yule banza men kazi anataka genis moja. So nisaidie mbai yetu. Nasema eh bro, mimi sina do. Bataacha nikutafutia katafuta ka naka order genis moja. Nilimpeleka ngayo big genis kani mebeba hivi. Set cash hivi. Nikampata kaniambia ingia hapo tu mimi ni sarakaraka. So kuingia nikapata kama ule mgeni na change ya kuji sasa the last round. Ndio sasa waanze ku vote na nami win. Ndio majajes wakuje. So nikamwambia ngatu em mrembo mimi umepita hivyo mnikarudi soba roho akaongea eh nikamwambia mimi umepita hivyo nikarudi soba uh -huh. na juu kwa job nafanya vitu zako uh -huh. mr kudanganya uh -huh. nimeku like sina anything uh -huh. I, i remember telling her that uh -huh. sina anything sita kudanganya but nimeku nime like uh -huh. nisaidie tu namba yako tuongea baadaye uh -huh. saka niambia nga mjomo madumu sumbua kiasi uh -huh. nikapushona akaniambia sawa na sasa hiyo simu nimeacha kwa bestie yangu so nikitoka sitakubaliwa pia kurudi huko ndani kambia usema tu namba nitashika. Akasema 0795 nini 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 cuz namba yake ni 0795075113. Mm. Ili mwambia achana na hizo prefix. Wewe nipate tu za katikati. <laughs> za prefix eh, prefix ni chashika ni 0795. Yeah, yeah. Nipate tu za zingine. Venye alisema hivyo nitoka ngako hiyo mlanga tu basali chekanga kama na, na, nasema hizo manamo. <laughs> So kwaenda nikachukua simu nikaweka nikaangalia nikaenda kwa Mpesa app mm. nikaangalia jina kama ni ile na ile jina alikuwa ameniambia kwa zaniambia tu anaitwa Wendy mm. ikatoa yenyewe Wendy nikasema mm. ah hodi maji anicheza mm. nika save So manze time amemaliza mm. in between hapa ki model manze nili clap yango hodi maji mkoni ka kwa red In fact mimi ndio nili influence the entire crowd wakaanza kumclapia Cause club ku club nilikuwa na club design nyingine hadi hawa sio wakaanza sasa si kama walikuwa na club ya dema mimi mimi sijui kwa sababu pia walianza tu ku club wana ku enjoy hapo eh hata akakuja akakuwa namba 2 mm. eh, i remember wow. namba 1 alilipo 30k ya liliponga 20k that mm. night mm. so ile time wanatoka mimi nika kuna jamaa alikuwa anatembeza maua mm hizi ma rose flowers yeah. si na domi na sasa hiyo nilikuwa nishaanza kuchemka kile nikachukua ngatu rose flower moja nikampea sijui hata kana nilipanga hiyo jamaa wa rose flower mimi nilipata ngatu maua hivi So time wanatoka nikamrequest kana anza msi off akakubali nikamteremsha chini nikamwambia mrembo mimi na usina hata gari na wish ningekuwa na gari ningeku drop na sina hata dona za kupatia auba wewe fanya hivi so unaenda cause aliniambia naishi doni in fact mm. ndio alifanya if you, the power of love mm. mimi niko naishi ngi fedha mm. she is the one who made me kutoka fedha nishi kuje nishi huko so nika kana nikamuzo naishi wapi ati doni nikamwambia just be careful vuka tu hizi mabarabara ma upande gari tuongea moneni do hakuna kitu naweza kupatia sina kitu akasema ina shida so the next day kumwandika message morning mm. alijibu it went for like a month kama niongeleshangi so siku moja akanitumia message nikamtumia morning akajibu morning akasema haya kamefufuka so tukaanza ku chat ku chat ku chat nini sasa kujua ni in depth nini 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 akaniambia story yake nikampatia yangu nikamuita anga kwangu hiyo time ilipatakana ishi kwa kibed sita hapo fedha 
cause wax ilikuwa imeharibika hapo nyuma nikanyanganywa kila kitu na landlord nini so mimi nikamwita na kitu kwangu na nikamwambia ukweli what happened in my life uh, due to issues a job mm -hmm. na aka accept mm -hmm. so alikuwa ni visit na visit mm -hmm. ana ni visit anakuja na kata one week akienda nga job na rudi hivyo hivyo so kuna kale ka frustration siungianga mtu especially when you are financially drained na hakuna mtu akutantu because me being alone and my mom pia huko na depend on me sijaitaka ku break my mom sasa nimwambie situation yenye niko sasa zingine mimi nyamaza tu mm -hmm. so nikaanza kuingia kwa ile kunywa pombe ile mbaya because mm. fedha kuna hapo street nyingine hapo nyuma hata mm. ukiwa na tenbo butalewa so huyo demo alikuja kuniambia if you really want to love me and you want to marry me mm. itabidi umehama hii mta because you have a lot of friends hapa mm. na ni friends wa kuharibu ni pombe tu kwa kila mara nikitoka job nikuja kutembelea na patanga tukaumelewa naona do na ukuli so yani akasema kwanza nikadhana na joke akakuja kaniambia pili nikadhana na joke ya tata niambia anga bas nikamwezi hama imeisha nikamuuliza sasa na amaje na mimi hata sina do akaniambia toka acha hata hiyo nyumba kujuishi kwangu wow kwa nyumba yake sasa alikuwa naishi somewhere hapo mbele peje tume huko huko nyuma mm. eh nikamwambia naweza na kuja kuishi kwako haji nikamwambia want you to change Hama tu kwa kacha tu whatever is there we kuja kwa kuja tu na mango utakuna change. So nikakuja kujiuliza yule demi dema ina gani? Anaambia hadi ni ame kwake. Ah nika nikagenio kare nikasema yenyewe acha tu nie niende. Kwa sasa love umejua at some point pia na speak. Mm. Nikakuja na huyo demi alinikaribisha kwake. Na for the time I stayed in that house kwa, na yeye kwa nyumba yake tuli stay pamoja for like two months kwake sasa. Not even one day mwanaume aligonga mlango kuja kuuliza udemi hakuna hata siku moja na alikuja kani set free akanipatia password za simu zake kila kitu hadi za Mpesa pin kila kitu aliniingiza kwa life yake full na huni demo hata tukitebea na yeye wasio walikuwa nasimamisha digari ni msupu miskavi mzee si umeona nimeona miskavi hata alikuwa wow. miskavi hapa miss benelix 2018 mm -hmm. na alinikubali hivyo So life ikaanza kuchange nini nini job yangu ikakuja ka resume ikakuwa poa uh, nikapata do kiasi mm -hmm. nikakuja nikamwambia tu so umejua mtu mwenye open kwako lazima pia ukue open kwake mm -hmm. nikamwambia tu ah mami kuna do nimepata kiasi mm -hmm. saa cha tuhame mm -hmm. at least sasa nijisimamia zamani mm -hmm. cuz sasa ulinikaribisha kwako nimeka for two months mm -hmm. sasa hata tuchange tuchange nyumba mm -hmm. and that is how it happened mm -hmm kaanza kuisha sasa kama bibi na bwana. Okay. Anaenda job yake mm -hmm. kama hiyo fashion and design. Ndio ikuwa anamlipa poa mm. but alikuwa anaenda, alikuwa okay. anajituma. Mimi pia naenda hii yangu at the end of the month tunaweka heads pamoja. Mm. Na tunasukuma life hivyo. So demo kwa bibi yangu kuja akapata ball because mm. na si ball ile ya mistake mm. we wanted. Yes as a husband right? Yes mm -hmm. wanted. Mm -hmm. Na mie umejua pia security because mm -hmm. nilikuwa na mali safi pia nataka acha pia nimweke chini so <laughs> so uh -huh. aka, aka get ball. Mm -hmm. Tuka akakuja kunotiza kuna ball that was in uh, last year around January. Mm -hmm. January tukifanya mm -hmm. tests. Mm -hmm. So tuka after that sika confirmiwa kuna ball. That is last year January that is 2023 January. 2023 January. Okay. Yeah, around January hapo mm. kileka Feb. Mm. So tukakuwa na hiyo safari ikafika hapo katikati ikakuja kumlemea cause umejua sasa anaanza kuchoka hapo around June. Mm. June July mm. akaacha kwenda job. Mm -hmm. Nikamwambia mam, mimi nitasimama kama mwanaume, nitajaribu mm. kwa hustle. Mm. So long as atulali nja mm -hmm. na atufungiwe nyumba. Mm -hmm. Wewe sasa kaa kwa hao. Akaacha job hivyo. So uh, ilibidi nijitume kimwanaume cuz yuko kwa hao sasa. Mm -hmm. Sasa ni mkono ni moja sio zile mbili yake na yangu. Okay. Na mtu huyu pia anakuja. Mm -hmm. Lazima pia tupangie mtu huyu. Mm -hmm. So ikakuwa ni hivyo tulikuwa tunaenda na check ups. Alikuwa anaenda clinic hapa Mama Lucy cuz it was close by. Mm -hmm. But hakuwa anataka kujifungua Mama Lucy. Mm -hmm. yeah. So alikuwa anaenda hizo clinics tukafanya ultrasounds nini tukajua kila kitu mtu yako sawa akaenda kacheck gender akajua. Mm -hmm. So tulikuwa tunangoja mtoto. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, estimated date of delivery zilikuwa nga mingi kila ultrasound ilikuwa na toa yake. Mm. So ya mwisho kabisa ilikuwa na toa 11th November mm. but kuna yenye litoanga kuna venye ili, kuna yenye litoanga 31st October if I'm mm -hmm. not wrong. Mm -hmm. So uh, tukaendelea na hiyo safari so kila siku ana feel pain tuna Google. Tulikuwa tuna Google tu hiyo process yote ya pregnancy mm -hmm. nina dakika download ile app ile ya uh, ya pregnant women ile itakuonyesha mm -hmm. kila day mtoto akoaje nini nini mm -hmm. nini 
So kufika 31st, first forward kufika 31st October. Mm. Akaanza kuonezo signs za labor sasa akaona ile show ile ile maji kidogo, hiyo mm. sharp pain venye kwa mgonge kuja mbele. Mm. Kabidi na ile it happened ilikuwa kwa nyumba. Mm. And I remember 31st of October was on a Tuesday mm. stay sahau. Mm. So ikafika saa moja nikaona eh hata venye anatembea kwa hao mm. anatembea nika na struggle. Mm. Nikaambia mama tunaenda hosi. Because one of the ultrasound in it was estimated date of delivery in 31st. 31st. Na leo ni 31st. Mm-hmm. So let acha to work na hii. So nikam nikam convinced tukaenda hosi. Tulikuwa tumeenda kuchagua tulimekata previsit Juja Mata Juja Road Maternity Hospital. Mm-hmm. Tuliendangana naye before akaangalia tukaangalia tukapat tuka find out rates kama wana accept NHIF wakakubali nini tukakubaliana tuka na madam pia mm-hmm. hapa ndio nitakuja kujifungua so hiyo siku ni kupak bag tulikuwa tushapack ilikuwa tu ready so tukabeba bag nitakatafuta means nikampeleka hosi nilimpeleka na naiba wangu fulani kumpeleka uh, the first thing madaktari wanaangalia ngani nje ya mtoto imefika wapi kupima wakaangalia alikuwa 2 uh, cm na for mtu kuzaa vizuri wanataka at least 10 cm so daktari akaniambia itabidi tume admit hiyo sasa ni 31st usiku mm-hmm. that is last year october mm-hmm. kwa admitiwa na wakamuinduce akafanyiwe induction so simeo ikabidi ni nirudi home kurudi nilifika nga home kitu saa saa 5 usiku so that's the time nikampigia simu ni kumjulia tu hali sasa venye ana fearon cause uh, tulikuwa tunasikia ati ukikuwa induced hiyo labor pen ukujange immediately so mm. me i thought that by the time nifike home mm. atakuwa already in labor so kufika kwa nyumba nikumpigia hadi tuka joke Ak- alikuwa tu sawa skip pain yote nikamzo mwanza kusikia pain akaniambia pado but nasikia njaa nikamwambia si hapo nje niliona kitchen siende tu nika joke nikamwambia si uji sasa so, so, ni wewe ni mgonjwa hapo siende so, tu jipakulie ukule Mm. but umejua wife wangu alikuwa very silent one mm. uh, hata kama anaumia ungejua mm. saka anambia tu hapana time watapiga maround zao nitawaambia akasema make sure umekula cuz umekuwa induced so tuka joke joke kidogo nini hata mimi leo hiyo day si kukula mm. cuz umejua pia uko unaantisi ujua una, 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 unangoja unangoja news, news. don't mm. shajua agenda lakini mm. sasa anangoja ujua mm. kila kitu iko sawa mm. so nilikuwa nimeka kwa kiti tu hapa tu na pes naenda huko kuna kulala na rudi najipata nimerudi so ikafika kitu saa 8 usiku nikalemewa nikasema eh ah, acha ni nijiekelee kidogo so kujiekelea ikafika 5 nikamka 5 the first phone call i made was hers nikampigia simu kumpigia nikamza babe mambo sasa ile sauti alishika nao simu mm. alikuwa mtu alikuwa already in pain because mm. i could tell mm. she was in pain already mm. so akaniambia the only thing i'll say manga to babe bado but na ile uchungu nikamuza mm. but pain sasa ziko akasema too much of it mm. nikamwambia sawa there's no nikamwambia kuna haja nikuje kwa visiting hours uh, ya saa mbili cause visiting hours hiyo hosi ni saa 2 mm. saa 7 na jioni sasa kuna haja nikuje saa mbili asubuhi cause kuniona hapo pia itakupatia tu pressure bure mm. acha nitakuja saa 7 mm. akaniambia ni sawa sawa nikamu encourage mm. nikamwambia you are always strong you will do it mm. and we, we wish ourselves the best mm-hmm. So nikaamua tena nirudi nijiekelee kidogo ifike at least 6 nikuje ni fresh ni amke ni fresh up ndio nishike safari ya kwenda hosi Around 6:30 nikaona simu yangu inalia Na ni namba siko na nime save asubuhi asubuhi 6:30 mm. si nimeongea na madam 5 mm. So hii ni 6:30 difference of 1 hour 30 mm. minutes Ah so hiyo early morning na ni namba sijui kiti kaniambia ati maybe simu ya madam imezima ananitafuta na simu ya maybe another person kuniambia sasa the news so nikashika kushika huyo jamaa kaji introduce kama i remember dr tom akaniambia akanuza is this brian kaniambia yes when is uh, husband yes uh, my name is dr tom we mm-hmm. need you in the hospital in the next 20 minutes mm-hmm. ai nikamwambia daktari what's happening because i wanted to know if it's something i could salvage on phone vitu kama kama maybe nilikuwa nadhani wananipigia ati wanataka kumpeleka cs that is something naweza sema tu mpelekeni CS na kuja because honestly from where i stay to where the hospital is mm-hmm. CS if in 20 minutes kutoka hapa hadi Juja Road Maternity Hospital CS if in 20 minutes mm-hmm. so nikauliza nga daktari nini ni mbaya that guy alikata kuniambia eh ni, nikamuuliza tena second time what's the problem akakata simu so nikabidi nipige kupiga tena nikamuuliza dr tom what's the issue because honestly i can't make it to the hospital in 20 minutes The maximum I can the, the 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 least I can make is 40 minutes 
cause jam nini na nipande hii matatu nishuke tena nipande hii tena nipande hii cause i'm connecting akaniambia ngati uwe kufika in the hospital in the next 20 minutes tena kakata simu so unajua akuniambia what the issue was ikabidi bro the only option niko nao ni kutoka kwa nyu nilitoka kanga na nakimbia i didn't know kama nimebeba tafaya ama nini mimi nilitoka nga tu mbio tu nikaingia kwa stage gari nilipata hata nilikuwa natoka nilirukia kama mat, kama makanga nikaingia kaniwacha pale Caltex nikapanda ya kufika hapo roundabout ya Karyo ni Karyobangi hmm. tena ni pande nyingine ya ku ya kuingia hivyo ya Juja Road Juja Road hmm. so nikafika hosi 710 kufika 710 mm-hmm. nikachukuliwa na udaktari mm-hmm. nikasema kwa reception am brand nimepigwa simu nikuje mm-hmm. Wendy's uh, husband mm-hmm. saka ita udaktari nikapelekwa kwa consultation room mm-hmm. so hapo ndio stories zilianza Nikauliza nga oh daktari kanaambia umejua bado na panic mm. cuz ujue umeitiwa nini mm. So kwa hiyo panic mode oh daktari kanaambia wengi amejifungua mm. na ako sawa Umejua sasa hapo nime relax Mto hii pia ako sawa lakini ako oxygen Umejua bado hajaniambia reason why ako oxygen mm. na wengi ako aje mm. So nikamuliza mbona ako oxygen wakaniambia mtu hii alizaliwa kama her breath na already he, she was turning blue meaning insufficient oxygen mm. so ako kwa oxygen but wendy is bleeding she is bleeding profusely na damu yake haismami na iclot mm-hmm. so the reason why tumekuita we want you to sign mm. for us ndio tumfanyie blood transfusion i remember hapo ndio nilikasirikanga nikauliza daktari muta na bleed damu yake stop muna ni ngoja nitoke all the way from don home nifike hapa hiyo si ndio ni, ni sign ndio mfanye blood transfusion honestly wewe mtu ame lose damu na kaje ye distance yote cause ni kama nilikuwa nimechukua almost 50 minutes kutoka hapa hadi huko mm-hmm. mtu ku bleed too constantly for 50 minutes ame lose damu na kaje so akaniambia brand just sign so umejua harakati i'm trying to save madam's life nika sign hata mm-hmm. sikusomanga hizo documents mimi mm-hmm. ni sign tu pale chini cause una hiyo time mm-hmm. so akaenda kwa banki yao akachukua two pints of blood wakaniambia these two pints of blood itabidi mimi nime replace with four pints cuz wanatumia two pints kwa madam mimi nilete four pints it's either nitafute donors wanipatie four pints ama pa pint ni 10000 so hiyo ni 20k eh hey, nikamwambia nifanyeni tu whatever you have to do mimi mm-hmm. acha nibaking ni kisoti story ya kutafuta either donors ama hiyo do mm-hmm. yenye itakuja fast so in between akaanza kunipigisha story so yule ashaenda kuchukua hizo two pints of blood wakakuja wakanionyesha ndio hizi akasema sawa so wananiambia story at the reason why when is bleeding mtoto alikuwa anakuja na side ya shoulder see the normal wave ya anakuja na kichwa so mtoto kuja na side ya shoulder in between mm-hmm. siji wendi akakosa nguvu ya kupush mm-hmm. tena kidogo wananiambia akapata aka gain strength aka push mtoto yaka rapture the cervix So that's the reason why she is bleeding kabisa because the cervix is ruptured. But katikati hapo ndio na daktari ananiambia Wendy alikuwa amesign kukubali kupelekwa CS. Na signature ya madam ni very complicated. Mm. So nika request for your signature li sign kukubali kwenda CS because I wanted to compare that signature mm. na yenye li sign niki admit. Mm. Nikaangalia hizo signatures they were the same. Kumaanisha at the time madam was signing kukubali kwenda CS she was still in the good state of mind mm. na bado alikuwa na energy na bado alikuwa na jelewa mm. cuz signatures zilikuwa the same mm. na her signature is complicated so nikauliza daktari madam akisaini hivi amekubali kwenda cs mbona mkufanya cs cuz hii signature ya madam it's complicated the same tu vile nakwambia kumaanisha alisaini kitu kwa baada yako sawa na jelewa kile yake iko sawa baada yako na nguvu mbona mkuenda cs atio brian you know alitulishtukia tu amesukuma Ah, kasema sawa so sita you now watu for, for long mm-hmm. acha waendelee na kazi yao kazi yao so hapo ndiye akakuja kuniambia would you want to see her before we take her to theater sasa so, umejua mtoto ako oxygen mm-hmm. so nikasema of course yes i remember when he was on bed one juja road maternity hospital bed one na hapo ndio niliona bibi wangu last alive so kwenda penye alikuwa that bed was in a pool of blood hiyo bed ilikuwa ime soak blood Mattress in a soak blood bed sheets in a soak blood hadi sasa hizi soak anymore blood in a float to you so madam alikuwa amelalia tu damu yake na kuna chuma ingine this size part ingine ilikuwa ndani na ingine iko nje imelala tu kwa bed sheet 
na ko half naked na na any doctor at that particular time cause doctor alimpeleka kumuona ndio tulikuwa na yeye so alikuwa peke yake so kumuona hivi eh hey, hata mimi nikashtuka huo daktari wendi, wendi, wendi. wendi wendi madam akajaribu kujisupport na mkono zake mbili hivi kujinua kichwa hivi juu akaniangalia akaangalia daktari daktari akamuuliza who is this ni kama alikuwa anajaribu kutest kama anaweza ni recognize uh, madam akamwambia he is my husband and that is the last nilisikia from madam pole sana that is the last nilisikia kutoka kwake and that is the last nilimuona akiwa live kwa hiyo damu yake mm. So kutoka hapa kapelekwa theater. Kupelekwa theater nikabaki sasa na shughulika mtoto. Na niko peke yangu sijui mniongea na nani, niko solo sina do. I'm running up and down. So kurudi place mtoto alikuwa amewekwa hiyo oxygen alikuwa amewekwa kale kubwa kwanza. Baada ya breathe. So madaktari walikuwa wanajaribu kutap ndani ya mguu yake. Kidogo kidogo akatap akaikuwa resuscitate nikaona kama ame move. So akasema ah ndio ameamka so akaanza kuangalia level of oxygen venye ilikuwa inapanda. Hiyo kiti kapanda ikapanda ikapanda. Kafika point akaanza kulia. Kwanza kulia wakamtoa hapo wakamweka sala there's another tube small tubes wanaweka ndani ya mapua sasa apart from ile kubwa. So wakamweka sala wakatoa ile kubwa wakaweka hiyo ndogo. Wakamvalisha hizo nguo tulikuja nazo. Wakamwasai nas akae na yeye. So nas alikuwa anajaribu kumwangalia na mtu atakuna kitu 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 amekula in fact mimi ndio niuliza ngao na venye ameamka kuna kitu sasa anaweza kula wakaniambia sofa tumempatia maji ya glucose but itabidi umeenda kutafuta nani kuangalia simu si kwa nado kidokeo nikapiga besh tangu mwingine akakuja he was around apparently akakuja akanikamwambia tu story yote akaniambia eh mimi sina do lakini acha nipigie my wife anieke do kiasi niongeze na yenye iko nayo cuz nani liko na uzo wa tuli baingi at 1900 mm-hmm. hiyo tin ya 400 grams mm-hmm. so tukachanga changa hivyo tukaenda kutafuta nani mmoja sasa hiyo madam baada ya kotea tasijui whatever is happening in theater mimi sijui so tukaenda kutafuta nani kurudi tukapatia onas mwenye alikuwa na mtoto so mtoto wangu alikuwa anapewa nani na tambla hii tambla ya tei hii tambla wasi kunywa nao pombe That is what they used to give mtoto wangu nani. Walikuwa na chota na syringe, hiyo 10 ml wanaika kwa hiyo tumbler huyo jamaa na mix, anamweka na hiyo tumbler round hiyo tumbler zenye nakonga sharp. So mjeo alikuwa na mgonga huko chini na mtoto amezaliwa hiyo siku. So hiyo mazao alikuwa na plan hiyo tumbler kapewa hivyo 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 akafunikwa akapelekwa akaikwa kwa bed nyingine hapo kulala. So mjeo nikabaki na kesi ya madam. So hapo madam vitu zilikuwa zinafanyika so fast kwa hiyo hosi kidogo kidogo after 10 minutes washa kuja kuniambia blood transfusion already uh, madam asha ikiwa hizo damu z, ziko sawa she's responding na the cervix yenye ilikuwa ruptured imeshoneshwa but she's still bleeding so daktari akuja kuniambia tena nikarudishwa consultation room akaniambia we've done all we could we can uh, the blood transfusion is, is 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 ongoing successfully the ruptured cervix has been repaired but Wendy is still bleeding Now Wendy needs an immediate ICU. Ai. Kashtuka ICU. But now hapa ndio vitu zilianza kuni confuse. They are already in contact with Kenyatta Hospital kujaribu kutafutia madam space kwa ICU ya Kenyatta Hospital. Na hiyo time ya time wa kutafuta bed ya ICU Kenya sasa waniulizi na niko hapo hosi na kumweka damu walingoja nifike. Unaona? Mm-hmm. So nikamuuliza why are you then telling me if you're already in contact with the Kenyatta Hospital just carry on because I've been here na mjaniambia she needs an ICU sasa ndo nakuja kuniambia So kaniambia she needs an ICU na wakikosa bed kwa Kenyatta Hospital itabidi nimetafuta private facility ya ICU na the upfront deposit ina kuanga 300,000 Manzee hapo ndio nilitoka kile nikaambia oh daktari do whatever you can do hata kama ni 10 million me bora madam akwe sawa hizo zingine tutaongea baadaye So akarudi huko ndani. Kurudi huko ndani mimi nikakimbia kuangalia mtoto venye ana progress. Nikapata mtoto baada kwa hiyo ox, uh, asha tolewa sasa hiyo oxygen cause hii ilikuwa inapanda up to 90 something. Sasa ametolewa but baada ya week cause hajakula. So nasi anajaribu kumpatia nana tambla when kwa nimekwambia. So mimi just shughuliki cause mimi pia sijui mambo ya mtoto sana at that point na waacha tu. Though na feel kuna kitu wrong but siezi ongea. Mm-hmm. So kwa waacha nikarudi kukapo kwa reception ndo kia akakuja akapita tena akaniita after 10 minutes akaniambia sasa Brian 
uh, sasa kwa consultation room akaniambia sasa Brian the gynecologist mwenye ako na Wendy amedago na well, the reason she's bleeding profusely uh, uterus yake ime ime corrupted so the only option that we have sasa umejua umetoka kwa ile story ya ICU tena mm. The only option that we have to save Wendy's life and to, to avoid the bleeding ni kutoa the uterus ya Wendy. Sasa kuibila uterus itolewe afanyiwe another operation atolewe hiyo uterus. Ai hapo ndio niliangalia ngao daktari nikamuliza kwa face nitakuja kwa approach madam aje siku moja tunajua unanga uterus. But tena nikafikiria haraka haraka cuz I'm the one making all these decisions hapa peke yangu if that is going to save her life then sawa nita sign. Wakaletea hizo documents nika sign wakarudi kwa theater. So kitu nilikuwa naanishtua procedures za hizi hosi zilikuwa zinafanyika sana kwa kutoa mtu uterus I see, okay I'm not in the medical field but then ni kama inazachukua 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. After within 15 20 minutes anarudi kuniambia sawa tushatoa uterus uh, but when is still bleeding. Umejua sasa hii bleeding ilikuwa too throughout. When is still bleeding but now we are we are just monitoring her. Sijui sasa hizi breathe ameke hizo tubes nini. Hey nikaambia nikaambia daktari can i go and see her naweza ingia theater ni muone wakaninyima access wakakata so nikabaki na ngoja tu so umejua na tu panic natoka hiyo 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 usiko first floor of that building so natoka chini na teremka kwa parking na pace to around to ujui what's happening I'm was in the dark completely. Vitu nime sign naambiwa story after story. Mm. Sijui madam kama yuko hai ama yuko I, I was so confused. So ikafika kitu saa saba kilekea saa saba hivi. Mhm. Mm Dr. Kanita kaniambia Brian, uh, main doctor, the senior doctor that is anataka kukuongelesha. But sasa ile face aliniangalia nayo nikajua hata kama mtu aniambi kitu there's something wrong. Mm -hmm. There's something wrong. Mm -hmm. So nikapelekwa sasa siku pelekwa kwa kwa consultation room, mm -hmm. nilipelekwa sasa kwa ofisi ya huyu at main doctor. Mm -hmm. So main doctor pia kanianzia story refu. Akaanza kuniuliza Brian, "Ebu tell me that I tell him venye tulikuja hiyo si jana tukakuwa admitted. Umejua ni mpigisho story yote." Mm -hmm. So unajua at that point you're desperate, uko vulnerable, itabidi tu seme. So mimi nikamwambia anga tu hiyo story venye tulikuja jana tukakuwa admitted madam akakuwa admitted mm -hmm. na procedure yote everything that has happened. So daktari akaniambia Brian cuz aliletewa sasa hizo documents zote. Mhm. Mm so daktari kama uh, akaniambia Brian I can see you've really signed a lot of documents mm -hmm. trying to save the life of your wife. Nikamwambia yes that is the only thing a responsible person can do. Akaniambia akaruka sasa hiyo story akaniuliza aka move forward akaniambia Brian let me ask you sasa yule daktari ndiye ananiuliza. Mm. Brian, let me ask you. What do you think happens if somebody bleeds too much? Hey. Nikamwambia daktari, I don't have the medical knowledge but with the little knowledge I have about human body, mm. muta ki bleed sana, some of the major organs will stall, will stop working. Mm. Akaniuliza which organs? Nikamwambia the heart and the brain. Akaniambia perfect. Now, when the heart stops when 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 the heart sorry when the brain stalls what do you think happens yeye ananiuliza maswali sasa huyu daktari nikamwambia daktari i think the brain will get damaged umejua sasa hizo so confused utajibu anything nikamwambia the brain get damaged at that point akaniambia perfect brain na namkutu verbatim akaniambia perfect brain if the brain stops working or the brain get stops damaged gets damaged due to lack of blood what do you think happens Kumaanisha huyo daktari alikuwa na alikuwa anataka mimi mwenyewe niseme bibi yangu amekufa. That is where he was pushing me to. So at that point nikamwambia daktari please don't make me preempt what I'm about to preempt. Tena kaniuliza Brian what are you preempting? Unaona baada niambi hmm. what are you preempting? Hapo hmm. ndio nilichoka na hizo ma back and forth nikamwambia daktari did we lose her? Hmm. Oh daktari aliangalia ngatu chini akamwambia Brian we've done all that we could i'm sorry wind is gone so that is the time her death was announced to me nikiwa hapo hosi makiwi ni hosi nimekuja 7:30 ya sorry nilifika hapo 7:10 na kuja kuambiwa kifaa madam 1 o'clock after hizo struggle zote na ujaruhusiwa kumuona sijaruhusiwa kumuona mapepa tunasaini mapepa tu mimi napewa na sign napewa na sign 
So after venye ameniambia ame pass mm. after kunipeleka hizi story refu then ameniambia ame pass so which atai ku pass ni mimi ndio nilijisemea mm. Sasa hapo ndio ananiambia Brian now what what we want to do mm. we want to give you a chance mm. to go to the theater just you and Wendy alone you tell her your last remarks but now we also want to give you the opportunity to remove the tubes in her body Sasa mimi ndio unaona zile tubes alikuwa amekaa kwa mdomo za kubreathe nini kwa kwa mishuli nini mimi ndio sasa niende nitoe Sasa daktari ananiambia hivyo we want to give you the chance to go and, uh, to be with in theater alone with Wendy umtoe hizo matubes when now, know she's dead when she's dead now they denied you a chance when she was alive, alive yes so venye ndio wameniambia amekufa ananiambia niende theater ni mimi na yeye peke yake kwa hapo kwa theater room ni mtoe hizo mapipes zenye alikuwa amekewa kwa mdomo mapua nini hizo matushendana alikuwa amewekwa mm. na nimuongelesha sasa ya mwisho atilia respect eh, nikamwambia daktari that one i can't do that is not part of my job i can't do but i can go to the theater mukisha toa hizo mapipes ni muone so akaniambia just wait nikangoja kitu 5 minutes then wakakuja kunita and wakani nikaingia kwa theater and i was with my wife peke yake kwa hiyo theater but now her being dead <sighs> situation ilipata kwa hiyo theater room my wife went through a lot before akate roho or maybe hata alikata roho kitambo these people are just trying to buy time with me nilipata kama madam kila pahali ilikuwa damu hadi kwa masikio huku ilikuwa damu kila pahali ilikuwa blood she was blood all over macho already walikuwa shaeka sijui ilikuwa stereotype ama ama ama, ama, ama bandage ilishaeka hivi kwa macho imefunga macho kwa mdomo kicho already mefura cuz i think hiyo kuluz damu na alikuwa ameka kwa hiyo bed hivi akoko na alikuwa na madam hadi kwa makucha niliangalia bibi yangu ya nika nilishindwa kicho kusema nilipata tu nime break down tu so baada ya hapo nika nikatoka kwa hiyo theater room wakanirudisha sasa hiyo mtu hii sasa ametulia amekunywa kunywa tena mbele yake ametulia kiasi but baada ya kukua hiyo hiyo kuna kitanda kingine ya chuma wakiongezwa hiyo ma oxygen amekuwa hapo bado So nikarudishwa kwa ofisi ya daktari wa main akaanza kuniambia now Brian uh, according to our regulations hawakubali a dead body kai kwa within the facility for more than one hour bila kupelekwa kwa mochari hawana mochari sasa itabidi nimetafuta has na mog ya kupeleka madam kwanza nitoe mwili hapo nikamwambia daktari mimi nimekutulikuja hapa kujifungua hata kwa tumepanga mambo ya kifo Sikuwa nimepanga do ya hasa ama do ya mochari mimi sina do. Sasa ukiniambia ni toe mwili ya bibi yangu hapa nipeleke kwa the nearest mochari ama mochari of my choice ati mwili verify kwa hapa for more than one hour after death sijui nitaanzia wapi. Sasa hapo ndio akaniambia I think hapo ndio alimelt down kidogo mm. akaniambia tunaweza kutafutia has then we will bill you in the final bill. Sisi tulipe mtu wa has lakini tutakuwekea kwa bill. Nikamuuliza ni how much akaniambia ni 5k. So akatafuta ngaha sio hasi ilikuja haraka mimi hata nilishtuka ilikuja kidogo kidogo mwili wa madam si yule na backdoor sio akona backdoor mimi nilishtuka tu mwili wa madam ready kuko has chini na tuko fast flow hata siko na alipitia wapi that one i can't really say because i didn't see mimi nilishtuka tu mwili wake kuko has so unajua kupeleka mwili pia kwa mode ile ama kupeleka KU hiyo thika road mm. So kwa admit mwili ya mtu pia kwa mode lazima ukue na watu wawili id tatu hiyo mm. ni watu watatu mna sign na mnaacha ID. So imejua hiyo time niko peke yangu kabidi tu ndafute watu wenye walikuja kuona mabibi zao hapo kwa bench. Mm. Ni waongeleshe tu wanipeleke kwa sasa siwezi peleka mwili wa madam bila hizi ID. So wawili wakakubali tukaingia nao kwa has nilikuwa nimeka mbele madam ako hapo nyuma alikuwa amefunikwa tu masai hii leso na ako naked bila alitoka theater. Kabidi nipeleke madam keyo kumpeleka tukambuk na siku nataka kuacha mtoto wangu alale kwa hiyo hosi cuz i was not trusting them anymore so tukamaliza na KU kitu 5 jioni karudi tena Juja Road Maternity Hospital rudi nikapata mtoto wangu amekwa sasa kwa ile kitanda mamake alikuwa ameblidia hiyo bed one hapo ndio tena mtoto wangu alikuwa amekwa do alikuwa amechange bed sheets nini lakini the same same bed niliona bibi yangu akikufia hapo ndio hapo ndio alikuwa amekwa so 
kumuona alikuwa ameweka lakini bado alikuwa ameweka wa drip sijui ilikuwa drip ya i don't know whatever alikuwa na drip wa but alikuwa na drip kwa mkono mtoto sasa. mtoto sasa mm. sana nimerudi hosi kitu 5 jioni mm. So kurudi umejua na bidii nianze kutafuta mambo ya venye tutatoka hapa hosi na bill nini mm. ndio ni nijue. So kuitwa huko kwa main doctor Stena nikaambiliwa at 150,000. So, Alniambia bill yako brand 150k. Uh, jua hii wakaanza kusema jua hii jua hii jua hii nikasema sawa. Uh, I just wanted to get out of that hospital. Na mtoto wangu. So nikwambia sawa Uh, tutalipa na NHF madam cuz nilikuwa nalipanga sotano kwa NHF madam na akienda ku, aki, akiwa karibu kujifungua nililipanga upfront na two months so ilikuwa active so nikasema tutalipa na NHF ya, na, ya madam but simu yake imezima for now itabidi tumefika home ni charge the initiate payment wakinishiate kuna code na tumwa kwa simu ya madam alafu na wapatie hiyo code so akakubali apparently walikubali kuniachilia hivyo mm-hmm. so tuka nikatafuta means when tutafika na mtu wei home mm-hmm. tulikuwa tunafika kwa nyumba kitu saa tano usiku So kufika nikaka simu ya ma, madam charge mtoi nilimweka hapa penye umekalia hapa mm-hmm. day one sijui anything about mtoto kitovu badi kuna hilo pegs nini 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 sina hiyo feeders kwa tu kujua madam atakufa so hiyo day pia nilikuwa nampatia nini na tambla but sasa tambla zangu za hapa okay. venye tu niliona hosi mm-hmm. so kufungua simu ya madam mm-hmm. waka initiate payment kodi katumwa nikamtumia daktari yo code na ni apparently kwa nimeka loud speaker na neighbor wangu mwingine alikuwa ameka hapa nikamwambia ah yeye mwenyewe akasema yes brand i can see nhif wametupatia 120000 mm. nikasema sasa so balance yangu ni 30000 according to you guys mm. itabidi munipatie time kwa sasa hii sina do mm. na mmona uh, msiba nimepatikana mm. nimepatikana nayo akasema it's okay brand we'll give you time ikaisha hiyo day ikaisha hiyo so nikaanga na mtu hiyo night imagine after three hours siko na lala kuzi naweza lala ni situke nimelala dia asubuhi na pia sasa hii unayo usingizi so after three hours hata kama hajamka unajua ni mtoto day one ajui kujamsha ama atalia yeye atatulia tu so three hours na muamsha na tengeneza hiyo nan kuzi na mix wa pascoop moja mm. ni uh, it's a double uh, uh, i think ni kama ukieka kama 30 ml for instance hiyo mm. ni scoop moja ya nan mm. but hiyo time unajua alikuwa nakunywa mm. alikuwa nakunywa 10 ml mm-hmm. so unatengeneza unatengeneza 30 ml mm. na una withdraw na sire nyo natoa 20 una get okay. ndio ubaki na 10 hakuna mm. vionaweza tengeneza 10 direct mm. so naika tengeneza 30 mm. which is maji maji unaweka 30 ml mm. then scoop moja ya nam mm. una mix unavuta na sire nyo natoa 20 ml hiyo mm. 20 ml umetoa umejua naitupa cuz pia na nana iki take 30 minutes ufai kumpea mm. after 30 minutes imearibika Okay. So hiyo 20 yenye nimetoa natupa hiyo mm. ni waste. Mm. Ile time 10 ndio na make sure amekunywa. Okay. Na ni hivyo the whole night after every three hours the whole night. Na kumchange pia diaper. Na hiyo diaper pia ukimchange una make sure ukifunga unafunga chini ya kitovu cuz kitovu badi iko na hiyo ijaka ijatoka ijaka mm. ukasini day one baby old mm. baby. So nikapitia tuzo zote nazifanya asubuhi kafika. So what surprised me kufika asubuhi Oh daktari the main doctor now mwenye alikuwa ananiambia oh hizi madam tendo toe tubes kwa madam mm. akantumia message kwa whatsapp mm. na umejua mi according to me a professional doctor or rather a professional institution mm. why is nitumia message kama kama walifanya their job right mm. at your brand oh, we are so sorry for your loss we are we are together in this you nini 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 uh, in case of any challenges just let us know we'll be there to support you where we can so na juliza oh ni hii ni hosi na niambia hivi mimi sijesikia hosi nafanya kitu kama hiyo so these guys were guilty of something mm. they were just trying to play games with me ama kuni kuni calm me down mm. no no because they were really guilty of something mm. so mean ah mean kwa nini umesema nikajibu huyo daktari it's okay so huyo daktari alikuwa anataka tukue na medical conference mm. between mimi na familia madam ndio twende hosi wa explain whatever happened to the both families so unajua bibi yangu pia mamake alikufa kama huko mdogo mm. na babake ni kama aliachana na mama mm. na mamake akawa bibi mwingine so the, the biological father mm. to my wife was not in the picture mm. he has never been in the picture mm. in my wife's life mm. in my wife's life mm. so mwenye amekuwa na ame raise my late wife ni the stepdad mm naona mm. so huyo step down nilikuwa na hata huyo ndio nilimwambia ng information zote whatever happened mm. so when niambia step down uh, no the next day hiyo siku walikuja sasa mm. that was now on a thursday I remember mm. walikuja hadi hapa kwangu mm-hmm. but wali travel all the way from uh, kindu kindu mm-hmm. wali travel 
uh, usiku kukuja mm-hmm. so akafika kitu saa 5 so nikamwambia ah daktari mm-hmm. alikuwa anataka twende hosi mm-hmm. sisi wote atuambie what to brief whatever happened hii story nawaambia atenda wa brief mm-hmm. huyo step dad wake wa madam akakataa akasema are you interested in that kwa sababu they know what they did mm-hmm. na that is purely negligence mm-hmm na itafufua wendi mm-hmm. acha si tuendelee tuna mambo za kuarrange matanga and all that mm-hmm. so when niliambia daktari cause he kept on asking me mm-hmm. how far have you gone with confirming when you guys are coming for the conference mm-hmm. the the briefing nikamwambia apparently my father in law has declined mm-hmm. he is not interested in the briefing mm-hmm. there and then dio daktari aliniambia and mind you nhif didn't give us 120000 mm-hmm. ili tupatia 80k tena meruka tena meruka mm-hmm akaniambia NHF iliwapatia 80k na balance yangu ni 70000. Mm. Ah, mi umejua hiyo time there's a lot happening in my life, there's a lot in my mind. Madama wako mochari niko na mtoto infant. Nikaambia ngatu it's okay. So umejua niki post madam status venye na model, she was a venye sema she was a model. Hiyo mm. video nilikuwa nimeonyesha. Mm. Kuna siku nimeipost nikasema walk easy princess. Mm. One of the doctors kwa hiyo facility mm. had the audacity ya kuni text ni mwambie ni mtumie video ya madam. Mm. Imagine patient mwenye umeona wande unaniambia ni kutumie picha yake aje. Nimeshajua umempoteza. Na umeshajua umempoteza. Ni kutumie video ya bibi yangu kwa nini? Mm. Hey, so mimi nikalenganga tu daktari siku mjibu hata. So things started happening finally uh, in communication with that do, those doctors. Mm-hmm. Hata vitu walikuwa na ni text. Mm-hmm. I remember at a point tu daktari aliniambia mm-hmm. brand if you are planning for a, a legal suit for us and suit for us. Mm-hmm. Can you tell us in good time so that we make our legal team ready. Mm. Na yali tumaka kwa message niko nayo mm. kwa WhatsApp. So kumaanisha they knew what they did mm. na walikuwa najua maybe nita file case nianze kuwafuata so they wanted to prepare. Mm. No no. Which means sikufanya kwa siku na the financial muscles. That's mm. an institution sizi pigana nayo. Mm. No no. So mimi nasema tu tulisema tuliamua tu kama familia tusema ah kama wali around the course of which I know cuz me I saw madam. Mm. I know ni yao ndio walala kwa kazi yao mm. ndio madam akapasa nimesema tu Mungu atawalipa mm-hmm. so mimi nikabaki na ngana na historia ya matanga bro sina anything mm-hmm. madam ako KU mhm mog pia nimeambiwa padei ni thao mm-hmm. padei ni thao so the mwana ka hapo the mobile inapanda mm-hmm. niko na lazimu pange venye bodi tatoka hapa di home mm-hmm. home sayo ni kisumu nyahera mm-hmm. has peke yake ilikuwa na kula the cheapest ilikujanga 50k the cheapest has hiyo mm. Nissan hiyo 7 seater mm. 50k mm. watu wajad, matanga ya wajaluo unajua mm. lazima sijui wapike nini hiyo hiyo yote na si, sina bob mm. so ikabidi nianze kuongea na mabest nianze kupasi story round mm. kwa mabest wangu oh, nimepoteza madam hivi hivi so some of mabest wali come up mm-hmm. tukafanya mchango arambe kafanywa wanga hapa kidogo mm. tukachanga changa tukatoa madam 23 Mm. Yes, sasa ni November. Mm. Tukatoa madam 23 tuka travel tuenda home nikamzika. So kum, nikizika maza, madam on 24th mm. that is November. So concentration yangu after kuzika madam mm. it was not easy. Mm. Cuz this somebody I loved mm. and this somebody I had a future with. Mm. And mind you pale nyuma this somebody you equally transformed me. Mm. Alinitoa kwa deni ya kukunywa pombe. Unaona? Mm. So me life yangu ilikuwa na take a new shape kabisa being being with her na ange nipeleka mbali. Kwa zote hiyo siku tukitoka hosi na yeye alikuwa amewin hiyo endorsement nilikuwa nakwambia ya 3 million contract ya 3 million for 5 years ya ku advertise vitu kwa kwa billboard. Kwa hiyo simu ilipigwa kani kuna simu yake and I'm the one who received. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So life yetu inge change but sasa maisha yake ilikatwa hivyo. So napata nili after kuzi kama dami ikabidi nikuje ni concentrate na mtoto. Na it's not been an easy walk. Kwa hiyo unapata huu mtoto anakunywa purely none na nan size zina retail never zina retail shirt 1920 per tin 400 400 grams tin ni 1900 bob size penye amefika kwa 3 months anakunywa anatumia hizo tins 3 tins per week 3 tins per, per week. week are you working job yangu ilikuwa paralyzed cuz job yangu ilikuwa commission is purely commission based mm, mm. lazima niende nifanye ndio nilipwe mm. me the last time nimo na salary nimelipo ilikuwa end of october last year last year that is 2023 2023 na sasa tuko feb 2024 sasa tuko feb 2024 mm-hmm. nimekuwa nikisavisha kusurvivisha mtoto wangu na kuhasol na kuomba wasedo which si rahisi mm. si rahisi rent 
rent hata niko na message hata mm. landlord alinitreaten juzi ametumia message kuniambia watatu atatutupa nje mm. so mimi najaribu kujimagine kitu nitupa nje mm. na mimi mtoto wangu tutaenda wapi nitampeleka wapi yeah? familia unajua tu afta matanga kila mtu ali mm. mimi ni mimi na mamu na mama ananitegemea mm. sasa ni kama nimefunika mamu na mwovu limetoboka mm. sasa si wote tunanyeshewa unaona sasa hizi as we speak aya madam pia being that biological babake mm. was not in her in her life uh, kabisa hayuko mm. imagine huyo mzee atajeni tafuta kuniambia niko na grandson ama granddaughter ama nini mm. I've, i've never heard from 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 him na family ya madam pia venye after burial venye waliendanga waliendanga kama wameenda mm. so ni mimi na mtoto wa mimi na mtoto wangu na ni mimi ndio na make sure lazima nijue venye atafeed venye ata lala na venye atavaa na siko job nimekuwa naye kwa hii hao saa zingine peke yangu saa hizi at least ulipata huu ni dem besta ni sister besta yangu mwingine yuko fedha ndiye alimtuma kuja nisaidie mm. but all alone ni kuanga peke yangu mm. na mka asubuhi na muosha mm. na massage mm. na mvalisha diaper na make sure amekula tunacheza naye hivyo mtu anaitwaje anaitwa Astrid Loy Ast- Astrid 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 Loy Astrid Loy yes now Astrid ako how old size size ako 3 months 3 months yes uh, health yake ko aje health yake ko sawa kwa sababu alizaliwa akiwa 3.7 3.7 mm-hmm. at birth mm-hmm. na nimempeleka clinic shindano zake zote mm-hmm. mimi ndio mpeleka clinic peke mm-hmm. yangu so so, so so size <coughs> the last clinic nikimpeleka which mm-hmm. was on monday 12th mm-hmm. aliwe 6.7 where do you go for clinic uh, jakaranda maternity iko opposite uh, naitwa ni what mall shuja mall hapa Oh, eh. oh kuna jakaranda side eh. I know that one of uko kahawa west no uko. kuna jakaranda maternity kwa hapa okay eh. now uh, so mtu hii health wise ako sawa ako sawa nimekaona kana furahi sana eh, eh. the best thing is uh, god alikupatia gift ya mtu hii mm. hasumbui yeah yeah mtu hii hakatai watu kwa sababu yeah. hata venye amekusumbua hapa tumepatia uh, my friend hapa na amemshika eh, eh. na ikakuwa iko sawa yeah now So ushajifunza saiku funga pampers yeah. could do yeah. all that yeah. How does it feels to be a a a, a, a now a single parent uh, what I would say it's not easy mm. it's not easy cause uh, number one, remember being the breadwinner mm. now you are crippled mm. no na sasa easy mm. talker mm. Na hiyo job yangu vile nimesema it's commission. Mm. Kumaanisha I'm not earning. Mm. Secondly the bills waiting. Venye mm. unajua landlord hata kama alinielewa ita nilikuwa na msiba tukazika mm. madam hata mm. zidi kunielewa. Mm. Na hata alisha nitumia message atatutupa nje no, na kitu mm. kama hiyo. Mm. So lazima kichongi na gonga lazima nitafute dove nitalipa rent mm. na venye mtoto wangu ata, ata feed na eventually nitafute mtu anaweza nisaidia hata kama atabaki hapa kumlinda ndio mm. sasa nianze kwenda job. No, na hizo zote ni finances. Mm. So the feeling is, is it has mixed feelings because mm. unapata you are happy kuna mtoto wako mm. mwenye umekanao from day one mm. which even most madam sio kubala but even most madam unaonapata na ametupa mtoto mm. but mimi nilikana mtoto wangu niliamua mm. so from day one to today mm. she's been the only source of joy i'm left with na so mtoi depending na condition ya mamako pia mm. hawezi and si zimpeleke burden yes. kwa mamako fadhali akaambia tu ajue whatever is happening yes. right and all that yes. si tuko tu sawa yes. at times i understand it it reaches a time when you have kukuwa ngumu and the strongest person yes. ndo uonyeshe mzazi mm. tuko sawa kwa sababu you know the health of our father yes. ile zina tanza maybe kwa stress and all that yeah. mamango kuna pressure number one mm. So na pressure yake sasa zingine ushut sana. So vitu kama hizi na sana cost ya nan mm. tena kumwekea mzigo. Mm. Unaona? Cuz kama juice I remember mm. it was on uh, Friday. Mm. Nilibaki na feed yake ya one one after venye tuseme venye size amelala. Mm. Yenye akiamka na mpea mm. ilibaki hivyo naishe. Mm. Akili yangu inafanya job. Cuz atakunywa hiyo after three hours atataka nyingine iko wapi haiko. Na huu si mtu tutatutapatia maji ya kunywa. So manze I yani nilipes kwa hiyo nyumba nilikuwa nashindwa nitafanya nini. I know times even fi- friends who uh, choka. Na yeah, ya true. Ama anaona mimi nishamsaidia mm. hajui usaidizi nahitaji kama. Yeah, yeah. So you uko na rent areas. Niko na rent areas yes. Za how minimum? Sasa hizi I think ni tuna count December, January, February now. 3 months. 3 months. Yes. Uko na rent areas. Yeah, how much months. rent do you pay? Uh, 18. 18,000. Yes. Wow. 
cuz una job hapo kitambo nilikuwa mm. naenda job mm. we were okay mm. until naweza sema hosi ni mess mm. cuz madam me na believe madam ange survive and now with arias mm. how you are not in a position at akuhama uweze kwa yes la chi dogo ataona hapa na rent yake now uh, brian mm. i understand you need pampas you need the uh, uh, nan nan uh. pole sana yes first let me address this yeah. uh, to our viewers yeah. uh, i know maybe we have those from the hospital yeah. the said hospital yes i think they may feel that we are here to expose them yeah. we are not interested even in exposing them brand when you say hapa na haja na anything to do with hospital hakutukua any legal actions brand is here just because he need to pour out his heart my get and he tried to to reduce the weight in his heart and also maybe if possible for the support ya mtoi did they come through Oh, hosi kuna vinyo come through hata time ya mazishi. Yeah, uh, apostle danganya and that's hiyo pia ndio ile ni raise ya eyebrows because mm. miss jona hosi cha inachangia mtu. Mm. Hao watu walikuwa wanajaribu kuficha every mess they did. So mm. walikuwa wanajaribu ku ni please by all means because mm. wale ni changia anga 10 thao. Mm. Wakanitumia anga 10k. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So bado wana kudai. From after burial la madam waje nipiga simu whatsoever but mm. walikatala wako nipatia birth notification ya mtoto. Ushaiendea ah sijaienda au mm, pedo bad notification eh mimi mimi nadhani tu maybe wako nipea juu ya hiyo balance mm. my thinking mm. but again wajai nipigia ta simu kunidai ama nini which mm. means mm. according to me bada insist which means they knew what they did mm. so wanajaribu tu kutaka hiyo story kufe tu iende hivyo mm-hmm. pote eh. no ben i believe maybe justice that can happen is mm. by only bringing back wedi to life yes i believe so yeah, which... above all there is god in heaven yes uh, the best thing you may learn mm. from ever since you started the story yeah. is like the challenges zile zili shika mamako ever since you were a child yeah. wakati ulipoteza babako yeah. zili kufanya a strong man yeah. and a strong person cause god was preparing you to become who you are today yeah. god knew all this again and i'm very sorry that uh, it's getting emotional but uh, god knew that all along this will happen yeah my guess uh, and god has prepared you more enough to be the man you are today okay. i want to believe in god that atakutumia malaika he will send the angels that who can be in a position to cater for you to buy you even pampas to pay for your rent and stand with you all along yeah. i also uh, bless god that amekupatia mtoi mdem mu strong na msupu nimemuona ko energetic na ko Uh, the moment ameshika shiko hapo na nikao na venye anafurahia and all that nilijua yeah. umtu hata kufanya sometimes ufurahie yeah. and all that yeah. however much maybe off the camera maybe ulikuwa so much how utamwambia je maybe aki grow up yeah, yeah, and all that yeah, yeah. but the god who has made a way ever since she was an infant up mm. to the point she is right now mm. he will still make a way even when that time comes okay yeah, yeah. now Uh, Brian I know we have some viewers yeah. who are watching yeah. and maybe they would want to support you yeah. they would want even to buy you nan ile kidogo msene za afford mm. some would want to pay you a visit some would want because but I understand uh, how they turn into drunkenness nah. unacheki mm. pia history me kushape mm. umekuwa how kai kama mtu ako na shida mm. i believe ule dema amekuwa strong kwako mm. that ile kushe pia umestand kama man the only option uko nao ni kukuwa strong yeah. because of such people who are watching yeah. and they would want to support you maybe i would request you to kindly give us your number okay. so let me be they can reach you through they okay. can support you okay. they can send something okay. for the sake of this child okay. yes uh, for those who would want to help me walk the journey mm. and like i said honestly it's mm. not easy because mm. uh, just to before i give and give my number mm just to give a breakdown mm. uh her consuming three mm. tins of nan per week right now no mm. majua the more and grow the more and kupanda mm. na even pampers and other things hata mm. mangu majua anaenda kishinda haraka mm. haraka so lazima uchange mm. unapata kama size nan alone is 5460 per week mm. that is nan alone mm. ujanunua diapers mm. na diapers pia alishashinda small mm. ameshinda medium anaenda kwa large mm. unaona So unapata hizo expenses zinazidi zikipanda unaona mm. and here here am I I'm 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 I'm, I'm, I'm crippled mm-hmm. as in seeing the job mm. so 
if I could get a way out mm. as in at a job wise mm. nipate hata kama house girl umejua pia house girl pia nataka do kulipa at the end mm. of the month mm. mwenye anaweza ni angalia mtoto nini mm. nikienda job mm. I can try cause pia kupewa kila siku pia si rahisi mm. so si kazi wow. rahisi yeah so anyway for those who would want to help support me help mm. me walk the journey mm. or rather even just even emotional support at times is very important mm. yeah uh, my number is uh, 0706 mm-hmm. 250 mm-hmm. 471 repeat that, uh, 0706 mm-hmm. 250 mm-hmm. 471 inatoa jina gani Brian Odhiambo Omondi Brian Odhiambo Omondi Omondi yes Brian Odhiambo Omondi yes that's the number yes wow basi kwa watazamaji wa Murudi TV um story ya Brian and maybe uh, uh, i don't know how to put it but kama mesikia story ya Brian is one challenging story and a painful one and uh, maybe i would request if you are there na uko in a position that you can support Brian that's the number i know the number will be running all through the screen uh, so that you can send anything even done uh, Brian amesema hata kama ni simu mpigie muongee just ile kum support kum encourage and uh, i believe someday day kama ni biashara kama ni kazi it ya brian he is sober he is stable strong and focused mmesikia pia kizungwa kwa sawa so he is in a position to work uh, maybe akapata hata ukamwitia kazi anaweza fanya kazi na pia mwenyewe aweze kuajiri hata kama ni housewife house girl ili aweze kumsaidia kulea mtoto so that maybe he can uh, walk and work without any interruption so uh, maybe kutoka kwa Mururi TV ni washukuru sana watazamaji wa Mururi TV i know hizi kawaida we are used to kikuyu stories and all that but because of this because of the love we had to go along the way and spread uh, our hearts to words maybe helping and reaching out to brands so that we can bring such a story so till next time my good name is Jefferson Omongi Muthoni from Mururi TV we love you so much. Karibuni sana.